In the last video, we showed that the tip speed of different turbine sizes is the same. Today, we want to focus on where exactly we find the biggest turbines. The expansion of wind energy is central for the energy transition. Onshore renewables offer the lowest cost but have capacity limitations. That's why experts see the greater potential for our future energy generation in offshore wind. So today we take a look at why offshore power generation continues to grow. It is obvious that the sea offers way more space than the limited areas on land. New turbines onshore today are about 3 to 6 megawatts in power, while offshore they are even around 10 to 15 megawatts power rating, and the rated power for future projects is even growing. One of the reasons for this is that for offshore wind turbines the costs for construction, infrastructure, and transport are higher, and so are the initial costs per turbine. That is why large turbines are more cost-efficient per produced megawatt-hour. So, offshore, large turbines offer the most efficient solution for power generation. As a result, the number of turbines is decreasing, while the power rating is increasing. Stay tuned, next time, we'll explain how the drivetrain evolves to also keep growing in increasingly bigger turbines.